Hey guys, Navit66 here, and today we're playing Kirby. So, uh. Nice to see you, Navit. Nice to see you too. I'm so, about to say something. What? Hello. Hello. I'm Mr. Head. <laughs> Who would have guessed it? <laughs> so, um, I want to speedrun the game. My best time is 50 minutes. Or, fi yeah, 50 minutes. And I, I want to get. Uh, 40 minutes. I predict this will be a two-hour video. Uh, really? Have you ever made a two-hour video? Yeah. I know we've done an hour. I actually don't think we've ever, we've ever... We never did an hour? I don't think we've ever done past two hours. I don't think so. No. But this will, this will be a long one. Okay, good. I mean... Really not that much longer than all the other ones you're really. I mean. The time of the video isn't actually the time of the speedrun though. Not counting commercials, fans. Yeah. Like when it's loading. Oops. As you can see, I am speedrunning. So we go Waddle Dew. Uh, we go this way. Keep going. Speedrunning become quite the thing, huh? Yeah, I think speedrunning is cool. So, oh, that might be a good idea to grab. Horses like to speedrun. Speedrun what? Racetracks. I, that's true, but... I, I mean, that's racing, not speedrunning. There is a difference. Uh, sometimes we go out on the racetrack and, and we just run fast. Oh, that is speedrunning. <laughs> Taken to its most literal context. Thank you. Go on the camera. Alright, so now we have a full team. So, we don't have... We shouldn't have to make any more friends the entire video if this goes right. Because we really only need them to do, like, the segments. Was the uh, thing. Also, to do damage to bosses, I guess. Buy Waddle Do. So, the thing about speedrunning is uh, you go kind of fast. Uh -huh. So, they kind of just die. Who are your helpers? Yeah. They come back? Well, <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, if they die, like. You don't care about them, right? Yeah. You don't get too attached to your friends when you're a speedrunner. True. That's just a gamer thing in general. Now, um, yeah, this will, this will be a while. Also, I'm kind of on low health. Yeah, it's not really that bad, but still. Yeah, just make them do everything. I want to say this is the right way to go. <laughs> Good. So is it better not to have your friends well, you need so them. you can focus? That's the thing. There's there's a balance between having them and not having them. And it's really hard to like... Uh, yeah, grab that friend. Oh, they'll get like lives and or, uh, health. They'll get stuff for you. If you miss something, there's a chance they can grab it. Yeah, so another reason why I'm doing this is Taranza. He's not the fastest character, but he does a lot of damage. You're a friend. I, I don't think friending people takes time off the timer. I, I want to say it doesn't. That was perfect. Okay. Waddle Hello, Waddle Dude. Absolute gamer. Yeah, Waddle on the team is very cool. So now we fight Wispy Woods. And I can't tell if this guy runs faster flying or running. But it seems like they're basically the same. Yeah, so this is why I'm running at him, because his damage output is just like insane. And that was like two seconds or something. Yeah, you 
can just kind of put that flower thing there, and it just does a lot of damage. You know, that tree always looks surprised when he's <laughs> losing the fight. You're not wrong, he does lose quite a bit. Anyway. Yeah, he always loses, <laughs> and he always looks surprised that he's losing. Yeah. Navi, you should memorize the levels so that you can... Just play a couple more thousand times. Yeah, so that you know exactly how to do everything. I mean, yeah, I'll get a better time doing it. I mean, There's other games. Yeah, I, I have to also speedrun, uh... uh <laughs> Imagine if you were on a desert island with a switch and electricity, and you only had this game. Then I'd be the best at the game than anybody else. And if I wasn't, then I wouldn't know, because I'm on a desert island. <laughs> yeah, I know you too. Yeah. Well, like, it's right here. I mean, it makes sense to take stuff, even, like, if it's there. If I have to go out of my way for it, though, I'm not gonna get it. You don't got time for that. Exactly. But, Navi, you should grab all the power-ups and, and, so that you do more damage to the boss. Yeah, it's hard enough just talking and playing. Addressing, addressing your, uh, whatever you want to do. stupid questions. Yeah. And whatever they are. Yeah. Addressing what you people want is not something I feel like doing ever. Unless it's funny. Oh, that's something I actually remember to say. How do you think things are going so far? Uh, so here's the thing. You're about five minutes into it. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm on world record pace. I'm not sure if cutscenes take time, but I'm gonna pretend they do. There we go. Yeah. Which, I mean, no, that's not a problem. I can switch this. Everybody's time, hmm? Everybody's time, please say. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I'm, use I'm not using, like, the time of the video. No. The timer in the top over there. Mm -hmm. So it tells you how you do it. Right, that's the time. That's that's, that's your official time. time, right? Yes, that's like official game time. Oh, uh, we want King DVD. We hard want King DVD. There we go. Since this doesn't take any time, taking bosses is very awkward. Since it doesn't like actually add to your game time. Five minutes. That's uh, that's world record pace, right? I'm gonna give me that Kirby. Okay, this is a new best time. How do you like my, how do you like my, uh, my DVD. King DDD? That's, that's pretty good DDD. So I beat my time from last time. Yes, sire! Not bad, not bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, now you're gonna see why I need, uh, four people. Because I think we're getting to the point where I will have to do stuff. Oh, that's, that's something optimal to have. Because now I go faster. I like just walking into enemies because it saves time. Or at least I think it does. And that's the thing, it's like, what do I have? Mm -hmm. Remember world record pace? Mm -hmm. I thought you just lost it. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. It's only 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna fly. Or, yeah. Yeah, I want to say this is faster, so I'm trying to spend more time. Yeah. Okay, now how did this guy kill me last time? Because he takes two hits from that? Okay. I also remember that. Okay, this is why I need four people. Still on, still on world record base, so. Are you? No. I, I was never on world record base. I don't understand the time that changed now. Yeah. You know, it says only one minute. Yeah, it was 30 seconds before. 
Oh, it's it's timed per area. Oh. How do you know what your what your total time is? It tells you every time you complete an area. How what your total does it add up? Yeah, it adds it up for you. I'm pretty sure this is like meant to be speed run, even if not a ton of people do it. Oh, can you grab that DVD. Thanks, DVD, for not grabbing it. Sure thing. He didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't want to. Ugh. I'm gonna say that this is gonna be fly over. Probably is neat. He's everywhere. Unfortunately, they have like kill challenges, and those those are meant to take. Parasol Wildies and DVD. Very yeah. nice. Okay, water level. Yeah, I like that little line cover. Yeah. Okay, I can skip this. I know this for a fact. This, however, is not the best thing. Yeah, that's another thing about the speedrun last time. Like, yeah, I was trying to go fast, but I also went out of my way to do, like, bonus stuff to get power-ups, and you're not supposed to do that. Oh, maybe only the speed power-ups, since it's a speed run. Open the door. See, I'm optimizing this. Am I right, guys? Yes, you are, Nabbit. Thanks, chat. Streaming sounds fun, but I, I wouldn't do it. I don't understand what the difference. Okay, the difference streaming and you just put it on a video. Okay, so the difference it stays between, there forever anyway. The difference between streaming and making it like a video is that when you're streaming, uh, you have an excuse to make your video really long. That's it. That's so reason. Well, I mean, also you're doing it live, so you can listen. So like, there's a chat telling you like. Giving you suggestions and stuff. Oh, I see. It's actually loading live and uh, people like people it's... talk to you live. You actually would... you'd never have time to look at the chat on YouTube. We live streamed before. We played Kirby 64 live, man. I read chat. Did you? Yeah, you just don't do it all the time, obviously. You just do it whenever it's like convenient. You know? Like, obviously, I'm not gonna read chat for everything. Like, it like the pickings that bad, then you just delete it after it's done. Right? I mean, yeah, you just don't upload it to your YouTube channel. Because oh, most, most streamers have like a YouTube channel, and then like a stream channel. What's the stream channel? Is that on YouTube also? Uh, usually on Twitch, you know, but I, I do. I, I stream on YouTube because I don't have Twitch, and nor do I want it. It just seems like another YouTube. And most streamers I watch I'll put their stuff on YouTube, so. Not necessarily. That was fast. Very fast. That was good. I am fast. Am speed. Hello, Waddle Somebody died. <laughs> I love when my team. Oh, I died! I gotta stop dying. Yeah, what kind of speedrunner dies? Yeah. I didn't even die last time. Well, this is the second time I've died, and we're not even late in the game. I think it's because I'm not getting the power-ups, so I don't have enough health. Because, like, usually you can just tank through that kind of stuff, and, like, not really clear the game. But here, you actually have to do stuff, and my teammates aren't going to do everything for me, which kind of sucks. Shit. Yeah, good, good help these days. I know, right? What's the deal? Okay, this is like a gladiator thing. how you play. You just put a tree somewhere and then you attack the other side. This is literally how you win. That was pretty smart. Yeah. Because the 
tree just does damage to stuff, like when you're not playing, so there's no real reason not to have it somewhere. Like at all times. Wow, the platform actually rises faster than I fly. Kinda neat. Teammates, you're slacking. Like I have these teammates specifically to do extra damage to stuff, and then they're attacking the wrong side. That was fast, fast enough. I'm gonna say that was optimal. Um, I'm gonna say this is totally skippable. And not useful. Yep. Didn't need it. You get the skip. I mean, I kind of know the level layouts. Like, I've played the game enough times to know, like... How many times do you think you have played? Like, this mode or the game in general? Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know. I mean, this mode in general, I've played, like, maybe six times. And I... Or actually, I've only beat the story once, so... Yeah, I guess I really only beat the story mode once. But that's kind of the game, so I could just like, why would I do it? Yeah. They, have, they have this mode, and it's faster, and it's not old enough. Yeah. Like, this mode is... It's just made to be faster and nicer. Yeah. Wait, I thought he was supposed to split into four. Like, what? Doesn't he split into four? Yeah, three. He usually splits into four. Oh, let's take Meta Knight. Meta Knight's cool. He sure is. And he does damage when he flies, which is really neat. So, like... Meta Knight... Meta Knight's actually kind of optimal. He does damage when he's flying. Okay. Yeah, we have all the puzzle pieces, so... Pretty good at this game. Alright, that's a new- that's another new best time. So we're definitely doing way better than we were before. So that's like 11 or so minutes, 12 minutes, so far. Looks like you're on your way. It's world record pace! And I still got like, five more or six more. Yeah. The later- it, the- the further you get, like, there, you start taking longer, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just like a run forward type thing, and everything will be fine. Yeah, this area is really cool, though. I'm a whole thing to do. throughout this entire area, so it's useful to have. Especially at the start when it matters. Anything this is speed. Yeah. Because, like, increasing health is a luxury. Really. Like... That's speed. I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> I think that was really optimal. Yeah, that was very fast. Yeah. Um, you didn't waste time for no one. Yeah. I don't waste time for that. Because I gotta kill that guy. Yeah, he, he can he can I don't know if he flies faster than he runs, but it's pretty similar. Well, I, mean, I think it's convenient to fly. It is, because you're not going to get as much damage. Yeah. And plus, like, the source of damage is like... Well, I forgot this one. I should be this one. Yeah, I'm going to use 
is this? What, 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 what moves does this guy have? Back. <laughs> Great music. Like, there's literally remakes of Strider character in like single written places. I mean, it's crazy. They make like amazing songs and like not recent. Take that. 
Yeah, I think they fixed the AI so they didn't take stuff anymore. Very optimal, very optimal. Wrong way. I can remember this. I do not remember this from last time I'm playing. Oh wait, I remember this, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. You do have to do every segment, so... Instead of normal friends is better. They just do more damage. Hello. Oh, well. This is a nice looking game. Oh, this game looks great. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad this game is like generally well received and considered great. Because I really like this game. Yes. Hello. Zan, but is Is that what that is? Is that French? I mean, I, I really do not know. Like, you could tell me it's like anything I do. Alright, off the way. Oh, it's original. A little optimized. That was often. And we don't have to do that segment where we like, do the level backwards, which is good. He got a little accordion jingle in there. He does. He has an accordion as his instrument. All right, eight minutes. I think that's I think that's beating the record by like a whole minute. So look at Nabbit. I right. he's just racking him up. I think we can get sub forty. What do you think? Think we can hit sub forty? I think you can be whatever you want to be, Nabbit. You could be president of the United States one day if you want to. I mean, I I kind of do. <laughs> Would, would you guys be against that? <laughs> I'd vote for you. I mean, I think a lot of people would vote for me. But I know you really will. I know you'd rather be vice president. True. Less true. <laughs> 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 but still, oh. everybody gotta kiss your ass. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm great. I'm not as great as the other guy, but at the same time, I win so much. I gain so much. And you're hardly ever in the same room as the other guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the vice president is in control of some things. Like, I think... 
I want to say he controls something. <laughs> no. But something is pretty good. Yeah, that's what I thought. You need the key. I'm sorry, but that chest segment is so stupid. None of the chests have anything good in them. So it's generally just a waste of time. But like, they're chests, and you want to open them, you know? Oh! Who died? Jammer Jab? Jammer Jab is dead! Jammer Jab! Oh! Is that Waddle Doo? Hello Waddle Doo, you're on the team. Yeah, we'll yeah, we got Waddle Doo. What are you doing? You can't just leave. And you can't turn on the AC or do anything, because we're recording. So... Yeah, but you've left three times. Stop. And you can't be on your phone. I'm not. You are. I'm not. What are you look? What are you doing? Though? I'm using the phone as a computer. To do what? I'm looking something up. Are you looking up the world record? Because that's the only thing I allow you to look up. Now I'm gonna look up something better. What does the vice president do? President. Alright, that's funny, so I'll allow it. Do. Other than succeed, succeed to the presidency upon death or resignation of the president, a vice president's only constitutional duty. I like that already. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> is to preside over the Senate. Vice presidents cannot vote in the Senate except to break a tie. So I do nothing. <laughs> you don't vote. You, you. The one thing I control is very minuscule and does nothing. You preside. Very good. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm a fan of presiding. I do it all the time. So you can only break a tie, nor may they formally address the Senate, except with the Senator's permission. That's funny. What the <laughs> hell? What does the Vice President do? Absolutely nothing. They're figure it out. Those are your two... Those are, and you only have two formal duties. Good. You want to hit... I, did you ever wonder, where does the Vice President live? The White House. It's gotta be the White House, right? He has his own room. Uh, with their offices located on the White House grounds, every vice president since Walter Mondale has lived with their families on the grounds of the United States Naval Observatory. Of course. <laughs> they don't live in the White House. Wow, they kicked my pets out of office. They're just like, no, you stay here. No, they have an office there. They go to work at the White House every day. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. Sounds like a good job. What are the qualities of a vice president? Money. Vice presidents are strong leaders. They must make confident and important decisions. Why do that all the time? Often in lieu of the CEO or president. This is a good video. <laughs> <laughs> Communicating their ideas clearly, presenting new concepts or directions, and leading the company. Is there any video where we don't make fun of politics? The uh, ones where we make fun of religion. True. Um, he backdropped me. That waste of time. With See, that's so. St oh, they're talking about vice president. That's a quality of any vice president of oh. the United States. Oh, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, no, because that's like about being the vice president of a company, which. I am. You know, you, you're you know, always vice president or something. Yeah, that's my job. I mean, it's a pretty good goal in life to be vice president of something. That's so much damage, it's not even fair! Like, they're not even in the, we're gonna take damage area, and they're still taking massive damage. It's not even fair. It's funny. And that's like a double, almost a double kill. Alright, let's just fix this. <laughs> yeah. That was absolutely. Why don't we read? This is a longer version. The vice president's primary responsibility of the United States is to be ready at a moment's notice to assume the presidency. See, that's like being like the uh, the actor that you know like, <laughs> like that trains to like in case the main actor gets sick at a show. Yeah. You know. Like what like, is your the guy? Job? The guy doesn't want to get sick because he's not going to get paid. Yeah. Plus he's a freaking prima donna who wants to be on the stage. Yeah. And same thing with the president. 
Yeah, I mean, if I was president, I don't think I'd quit. You know? But it's just a nice job to have. This can be because of the president's death, resignation, or temporary incapacitation. Oh, so if the president's like sick, I or guess. gets COVID. True, but, but actually, that, is that didn't even happen. Trump stayed president. Yeah. Didn't even... Pence, Pence, Pence did nothing. Pence does have to do with anything. Honestly, throughout Trump's entire presidency, I don't think I've ever heard his name, sir. Yeah, the vice presidents did nothing. Like, our president was a vice president. Yeah. The new president. Yeah, I know. He was Obama's. And that's crazy. It's like, wow. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> and Obama was like, oh, this guy's great. He he assisted me as president. Like, what what is his job? <laughs> and if the vice president, or if the vice president and a majority of the cabinet judge that the president is no longer able to discharge the duties of the presidency. Oh, oh. that's interesting. Yeah. The vice president is elected along with the president by the electoral, electoral college. But like, Each, why would the vice ever do that? They run with the president. Yeah, like you get a turn. <laughs> you get a turn on your president? <laughs> yeah. On the guy who gave like, you a job? <laughs> like every vice president is like evil. Yeah. I someday will kill him and take his job. That'd be super funny. That would be super funny. That could be a good movie. Yeah, that'd be like a 48 hour mystery or whatever that'll Dude, that'd be a great movie. That would be. What's up? Can you see this gameplay? What would we call it? What would the name of that movie be? Um. Grr. I'm, I'm jealous of the president. <laughs> the evil vice president. That's not a good name. <laughs> Is this Francisco again? Each yes. elector <laughs> casts one vote for president and another for vice president. Before the ratification of the 12th Amendment in 1804, electors only voted for president on the person who received the second greatest... I did not know that. You didn't know that? No. Oh, I did Before 1804, the vice president was just the guy that came in second place. Yeah. That's hilarious because then you gotta work with the guy. <laughs> you gotta work with the guy you want. They lost. should bring that back. I, actually, that'd be really funny. They should bring that back. Like, I'm so about that. Bring that yeah, back. Yeah, that's the best. That is so funny. The vice president also serves as the president of the United States Senate. It's like, not only do you have the shame of losing, but then you get to you have to see the person you lost to every day uh -huh. and listen to them. Yeah. It's just the biggest fun. They, the especially time. like nowadays where they rank on each other. Yeah. Like you know, like they like, hate each other. Like if like if Bint was uh Trump's vice president, that'd yeah. be so you'd be like, Oh, hey swamp boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they hate each other. <laughs> oh. The vice president rarely actually presides over the Senate. The, the vice president barely does anything. <laughs> Instead, the Senate selects one of their own members, usually junior members of the. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> of the majority party to preside over the Senate each day. Dude, you got replaced by a junior. <laughs> That's just embarrassing. Uh, is this Krakow fight? I think it is. Michael R. Pence is the 48th vice president of the United States. He sure is. Nine of the previous 47 has succeeded to the presidency. Oh, that's pretty lucky. Mm -hmm. Nine of them have become presidents. Oh, that's actually quite a few. Yeah. I thought Nine have succeeded I thought to the presidency, yeah. I thought Pence, or not Pence, uh, Biden was the only one. Four of those, four have been elected to presidency on their own. Right? Uh, so, like, but so that means that five of them actually just took over the job for some reason, one reason or another. Well, Nixon, uh, I want to see who else got fired. Uh, yeah, that's a history lesson right there. Yeah. Not who's good, who got fired. <laughs> the vice president, oh, it, they are simply the top advisor to the president. Oh, they're also an well, advisor. But, yeah. Like, they, well, that's like, it says the duties of the vice president outside of those, so basically they have like, the two main duties are presiding over the Senate and, uh, and being there. 
in case something happens to the president. That's their two main jobs, but then some of them approach the role differently and take on a specific policy portfolio. Others serve simply as a top advisor to the president. So they can actually, you know... They can do they something. They can make they the job to. their own if they actually want to do something. Yeah, but I don't. So. The vice president has an office in the West Wing of the White House, as well as in the nearby Eisenhower Executive Office Building. Sounds neat. Oh, crap. Like the president, he also maintains an official residence at the United States Naval Observatory in Northwest Washington. Oh, the president has one too. The president's got like, and they got a country. The president gets a country house too. Oh. This peaceful neat. mansion has been the official home of the vice president since 1974. That's Previously. Neat. Vice Presidents have lived in their own private residences. Vice Presidents also has his own limousine. Operating he owned the Vice President mobile? <laughs> you got your own limo with a driver. Operated by the United States Secret Service. And flies on the same aircraft the President uses. Neat. I didn't know that. I, I figured they'd have to have, like, an economy service or something. Something lame. <laughs> oh, that's a clear... But here's a distinction. When the vice president is aboard that airplane, the craft is referred to as Air Force Two and Marine Two. Is that a thing? Yeah, like otherwise it's Air Force One. That's funny. <laughs> uh, oh, new record again. Uh, whoop de wood. I think we actually saved two minutes off of that. I mean, the shaving isn't too much. You know, Abby, you really are right. The vice president is probably the best job in the world. Yeah. And nobody hates you, because you don't do anything. Like, everybody's always got beef with the president. But, I mean, even Obama. Like, people hate Obama. I like Obama. I'm an Obama fan. Imagine if Hillary Clinton had to be uh, Trump's vice president. Oh, that'd be so funny. That would've funny. been the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually... Now that would've been entertaining. I'm actually very about that rule. Yeah, I think that I think that would be really cool. Like, yes, it's just because it's funny, but like, yeah, <laughs> it's funny, and therefore good. All right, I think Flambridge fight is coming up soon, and then then we have Sam Partizan, then we have Highness, then uh, uh, Morpho Knight. Not For most of the United States history, the vice presidency was a boring job. In addition to being at hand, should something untoward happen to the top, the primary purpose of the position was to reside over the Senate. Beyond that, the job carried little actual authority. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Very little. You do how many things does the president do? That's like 50 things. They don't even get a vote in the Senate. That's unless hilarious. It's, unless it's a tie. They, and sometimes they'll call in junior senators. So like, even then. That's just embarrassing, actually. But like, I still want to be one, you know? Because it's just like... What reason do you have not to be the last president? It's just a cool job. You don't do anything. You know? That's kind of fun. You're a member of the legislative branch. This distinction brought consequences. Out of the executive branch, the vice president was historically removed from major decisions at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, but with his limited constitutional mandate, he was also sidelined in the Senate, save for the rare title. So they used to have more. Um, Alright, let's save Mennonite. Mennonite, no! I want Mennonite. Come back! Let's go! We got Mennonite back. He almost died. And it didn't take us any time. And somebody just died, but it wasn't Mennonite. So, big deal. So there was a president, uh, the ninth, the oh. nation's ninth president, William Henry Harrison, died from pneumonia in 1841. I've never heard of this president. Therefore, they are he died from pneumonia in 1841 after giving the nation's longest inaugural address without a coat and hat. He died during his <laughs> yeah, no, because of that. What a dumbass. Uh, his successor, John Tyler, was referred to derisively as his accidency. <laughs> That's the title they gave him. That's funny. 
Oh, that's... that's... that sucks, actually. Oh, did he know? Oh, this is really good trivia. Who became president when Abraham Lincoln was shot? Oh, that's actually a question. I, I don't know who he was. Andrew Johnson. In 1865. I've heard the name before. He was promptly impeached and nearly removed from office. <laughs> suck, suck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, bro. John Nance Garner, a Texas congressman who left the supremely powerful position of Speaker of the House to serve as Franklin Roosevelt's Vice President for eight years, famously came to regret his decision. He described the Vice Presidency to a young Lyndon Johnson himself, a future of the, as not worth a bucket of warm piss. Funny. That's how he described the job. <laughs> Wow. I mean, at least he gets it, but I don't think he was looking at it with the right mindset. The whole point of being vice president is that you're president, but not really. So John John Adams was George Washington's vice president. And then he became president. He said, I am vice president. In this, I am nothing. <laughs> Funny. <It's> <laughs> Sucks to suck. <laughs> Harry Truman. Serving as Franklin Roosevelt's third Veep. Veep. That's what they call Vice President's Veep. 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 He called the role as useful as a cow's fifth teeth. That's good. <laughs> oh, I just lost it sometimes. So, at what point did they, were they not allowed to have, um, were they only allowed to run twice? Um, I think, I think, uh, Is Washington it? started doing it. His friend, it says, Somebody started doing it. Says, it. Right, it was it was after Teddy Roosevelt, but he ran, he ran more than that amount of times. Uh, it, that's exactly what I'm saying. Franklin Roosevelt, is, he had three runs. Yeah. Um, so I want to say somebody standardized it in four, like they stepped down, said that they were only going to do four turns, because like, that's a George Washington did. So resting, the job is a resting place for mediocrity. It is. Oh, but it's also a path to power. Yeah. Being the vice president, it just sounds good, you know? It's like, yeah, you do nothing when you sound good. It's like a lot. Alright, we'll take it. Oh, you know what? Solid minute there. That wasn't good. You didn't make the record? Huh? No, I'm not, I'm not getting a world record. Maybe for the character. Oh. Actually, if I get it for the character, I can call it a world record because it is. Just not in general, you know? You know what I mean? But I, was, I was looking down for a second. Did it say that you didn't. You didn't get the best timing for that level? No, no, I, I just died at a oh, really bad oh, place. Oh, I see what you're saying. Hey, you died. I know, but like, it was really bad because it was like an auto-scroll kind of thing, which means it takes a set amount of time. Also, that's, that's cool. That is a speedrunner strat. Guess how much the Vice President of the United States of America makes per year? A lot. True. Decent salary. 152,490 per year. 152, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not like... And you don't do it. I mean, it's not like they're, like, the richest, but they're... It's pretty, great. That's pretty freaking comfortable. They get a $20,000 cash bonus. I've never had a job with a cash bonus. That's sweet. Yeah. Cash bonus. Like, you like, know, imagine at Christmas time, 20, here's 20,000 yeah. cash. That's so nice. 25,000 profit sharing, also. I don't know what that is. I don't actually. know what that means either. Profit share must be like, I don't know, for the wife and kids. That's kind of, that's kind of the vibe I get. Actually, I think the time I lost there, I saved here. Because I did something really cool, and it just looks nice. And I saved a lot of time here. I did really good this area. Very good. So I think they have Zan Partisan soon. Maybe. 
so. Nope. One more area. Oh, it's train. Train time again? Yep, train. I'm good at train. Did that start in, uh, Epic Yarn? Mm, there, was a, there was a train, but not really because that was different. The train in Epic Yarn sucked, I'm not gonna lie. I liked it. It was like the worst one, though. I'm not saying it was bad, but it was, it was yeah, definitely... There were trains before that, though. Yeah. It's well, cool. no, no, no. It's no, a Kirby no. thing. No, no. That was the first Kirby train. I'm just saying that power-up really, like, wasn't that good. What, the thing where you drew the track? Yeah. It just didn't work sometimes. It's okay. Yes. I thought it was cool. It was cool, but it was novel, but, like, not my favorite. Um, fire truck was really nice. Although, it, oh, was, usually, it was usually in lava stages, which I'm not a fan of in Kirby's Epic Yarn. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're optimized. Vice President stuff. Yeah, I mean... Do you know one murdered a man and became a fugitive? <laughs> That's funny. Who was it? Who's I don't know. I gotta get into this. Who's Vice was it? Uh, it's just kind of like going over like weird stuff. It doesn't say like a lot of... Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, it'll say it. It'll say it. Because uh, if it was like a good president, Vice, and they went on like psycho killer rampage, that'd be fun. Let's just find that out. Because that's too good. Yeah. Also, this is a Kirby video. <laughs> it's a Kirby video with a subplot of exploring what vice presidents do and actually, weird, it's weird facts about vice presidents. Actually, it's a Kirby speedrun. We're playing Kirby. <laughs> there we go. Checkpoint in eight minutes. I don't know what the record looks, but I have a bad feeling about that. Eight minutes is quite a bit. Aaron Burr slays Alexander Hamilton in duel, in one of the most famous duels in American history. I feel like I saw it in a movie. Vice President Aaron Burr fatally shoots the longtime political antagonist Alexander Hamilton. Isn't Hamil he in a movie? Does he have a play? Alexander Hamilton, a leading federalist and chief architect of America's political economy, died the following day. You know, Duels with guns are cool. <laughs> yeah, so a, stupid. A sword duel is so much more skillful. Oh, yeah, I, I completely agree. I mean, there's definitely, like, skill to be had, but, like, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not good. I'd watch it, though. But he, that's not the one. That's not the same one. That's not the one who became a fugitive. Yeah, that's that was just a... That, that was just... Aaron Burr was just a vice president who actually killed somebody while he was in office. Which yeah. is pretty damn cool. I agree. And then go back to work the next day. Hey, what's up, Aaron? What's up, Bobby? <laughs> so you're doing this today? <laughs> Can I have Alexander Hamilton's chair? <laughs> Can I have the furniture in his office? I mean, I would, I would imagine that's how duels went. Like, you get some of their stuff. The Fugitive Slave Act, expediting... Hold on, what, what vice president murdered a man and became a fugitive? Millard Fillmore. Why Millard? Who was he president for? He was in office 1850 to 1853. Um, Secret room, I believe. He was the Millard Fillmore was the thirteenth president of the United States. He was in office from 1850 to 1853, but before that he was the twelfth vice president of the United States from 49 to 50. So there you go. Here's final boss. Alright. Get down with your bad self, Nabbit. 
Ah, quoi Oh, il y a 10 minutes, too. That's not bad. You know, they have parties that we don't even hear about anymore. The anti-Masonic party. <laughs> That's a good name. I would like to be in that. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, but you know what a Mason is, right? Uh, they're like they're those right. guys that, you know, wear the hats and everything. Yeah. So they're anti-Masonic. <laughs> And then there's the Wigs, W-H-I-G. What? <laughs> Bro, they're just making stuff up now. This guy's got Millard Fillmore as a major dude. Yeah, I guess so. There's the stuff up there. Alright, that's fine. Heal up for this. There we go. That, that boss was fast and clean. I heal after this boss, right? My best. Alright, I'm gonna stop with the vice presidency stuff, as fascinating as it was. I am the vice president. The president of Doom and vice president. Vice president of Doom? That would be a good name for the movie. <laughs> True! It would be super funny, like as a subplot, that he would get the president's wife. Yeah! Like, maybe that's <laughs> one of the things that drove him there. Yeah. Not only does he want the job, but he wants the guy's wife, too. I'm also on really low health, so if I die here, I'm losing a lot of time. I mean, at the same time, like, yeah, I don't die. So. Yeah, it's not bad. This is fine. If I can get on the ground and do, like, a... There we go, there we go. That's my maximizer. That's my maximum damage output right there. Tree. No! Ah! I just lost world record pace. Think so? No, I've lost it like 20 times already. Yeah, you keep saying that, but yeah. you're still gonna make a record. For me? You think it's gonna qualify for you to be also on know. a chart? Yeah, I'll be on the chart. On some insignificant chart somewhere? Mm hmm yeah, I'll submit this and be on the chart. I might, I might put that as like the thumbnail of the video if, if it's decent enough. I mean, 60th place is like two hours, so... <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was really funny, because like, even when I'm not playing for flick fast, I, I can't get that, it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, they like way after lunch. I, I think that's what it was. But like, then they submitted it. That's fine. Let's still get out. Yeah, well, that's the lowest one. I think it caps at 100, but the first submission isn't better than 100, but there aren't 100 submissions, so... This is going to speedrun again, anyway, so... Get trees, get this, get this. Everything's got to be fast so that I don't have to sit through this. You agree, right? Like, I don't want to see this, this segment. There we go. Actually... That's, that's what speedrunning is all about. Yeah. Because, like, he has super armor during that, and you're really just supposed to wait through it, but I don't have time for that. Oh, he just puts you right into it. <laughs> you could skip. I just wanted to kick, skip the fake credits. They just throw you into the boss battle, like, not even a second. You don't even get to see the splash screen. That's crazy. Go. Go there. It knows your speed right I think it does. It's helping. Alright, now we set up, because I know what he's gonna do. That is so right there. Look how much damage that does! It was like half his health. Just standing under him, spamming. You see that? Yep. World record. We lost world record pace like 20 times, but world record. We gained it there. We gained it on that boss fight. Honestly, I did Highness second time really fast. 
42. 42 minutes was your total time. 42, 42 minutes, minutes. 39.15 seconds. Um, just a minute, I need a picture of the clear time. Let's get this. Oh, look how clean that is. Very yeah. awesome. Oh, you tied your last one. I did. And the last... Wait. What do you mean? Oh, no, no, the best time. Those are your best, best times. I got you. These are all my best times yeah. now. 42 minutes, 39 seconds, 15 milliseconds. Very nice. World record. Congrats, Abby. Definitely world record for Taranza. You set out what you you accomplished what you set out to do. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> Why do I think his name is Taranza? Uh, because he's a spider. Yeah. Tarantula is a strange looking guy. Yeah, he's got arms. Sort of. They're invisible. Yeah. He's the next arm spider. He, his gimmick is that he doesn't have arms. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I'm surprised there isn't one actually. <laughs> That'd be cool. I mean, actually, there is. There's the hair girl, but she has arms. That's just... stupid. Yeah. People wanted her in Smash. This would be cool though, because it would just be like a punching, like a boxing glove, just yeah. coming at you. I think that's funny. And um, yeah, if they if they were gonna make like arms too. Taranza in arms. Yeah, if they were gonna make arms too, I'd say like the way they saved the game is to put like Mario characters in it and stuff, because like. Just make it a Smash Bros. with arms. Just make arms. it Smash Bros. with arms. Yeah, there's no future for that game. Yeah, no. arms sucks. <laughs> How I, come I don't think it's gonna go for the long run. I don't. Yeah, there's nothing to it. It's just kind of mashing buttons until you win or lose. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure when they invented Mario Kart, they didn't know it's gonna go for the long run or Smash Bros. But yeah. it's just a time proving thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, we gotta do the credits. Might as well. Show it. Since, you know. We didn't do this. I wonder what other records I can set. <laughs> I, I want to speedrun. What other things can you speedrun? Uh, the thing is, I could be good at the game to do that. And oh, to be honest, this is one of the best games I'm at. I'm, this is like one of my best games. Oh, I didn't see that. Right Hello YouTube. Today we're gonna be playing Kirby Star Allies for this Nintendo. Oh, Kirby Star Allies for the Nintendo. For the Nintendo. Yeah, so I'm I don't really know how speedrun like speedruns.com works. I read the rules. I'm pretty sure I followed them. Uh I'll have to check again. I think they only need video proof. Well, if you don't qualify for some reason, then that will give you an excuse to make another video. Actually, true. Did the exact same thing get a better time? I'm sure you could. I'm sure I could too, because I made a lot of mistakes. I mean, like, a lot of mistakes, though. It's pretty much inevitable. It is. I mean, I'm sure the guy that... The world record guy was perfect. Yeah, I'm not gonna come up because that guy... Grind do I anything think. except play this game. Well, no, that's not true. Like, he just studied the game. Yeah. And I don't know. It takes that type of personality to yeah. total obsession. Yeah. Well, not that I'm not obsessed with this game because I have like 100 plus hours on a game that isn't that long. So. You have pretty bad. Uh... Like, my game time is not that long for this. Like, you beat story in like 5 or yeah. 6 hours. Yeah, I mean, you know. If you stayed up day and night, that's only four days. Yeah. Oh no, that's only two days. If you slept, if you slept for 24 hours, it would be only four days. Yeah. Just wake up and start playing. <laughs> True. But some people do that. I, I, I know. I whatever I, I, you know I like to figure that out when I see the amount of hours you play like yeah. Smash Bros or how, whatever. How many hours? It's like that's a month of life. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree. Get in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice man right out there. That's Galactonite. <laughs> uh, I thought it was just a pimped out man right No, it's Galactonite. <laughs> well, don't I look screwed. Yes, you do. 
But to be Galactonite? Galactonite is kind of like Meta Knight. He's he's Meta Knight's like rival, basically. His cousin. No. His rival. Yeah. Basically, in one game, you play as Meta Knight, and like, uh, you you if you chase down this like wish making machine called Nova, and he's like, I wanna, I want to fight the strongest being in the world. And Meta, then he, Meta Knight does. Yeah. So he summons that guy. And you know you just gotta kick his ass. Hmm. I mean it's a hard fight though. But then like Meta Knight steals his title and becomes like the strongest warrior in the galaxy, which you would think is Kirby because he beats Meta Knight. But like, I can't. I yeah, yeah. In Meta Knight's mind, Kirby doesn't exist. True. Or he's not a rival or something. That's, yeah, I think that's what it is. It's like Kirby isn't really a warrior, even though he's like a star warrior. I don't know. <laughs> the end. Uh, and as a bonus, you guys can see my Kirby star is our count. <laughs> Hello. 80 hours, that's it? That's not bad. Are you kidding? How many hours have you played part-time UFO? 40 so 40. Far. Are you kidding? No way. That's not true. Okay. I know for a fact, Star Allies, that's not true. I like that it says, or more. Yeah. Or more. You might have snuck some in at someone else's house. Not true. I don't know, maybe it only counts the ones I've done online. Yeah. But I, I don't see that, because I haven't done all my hours on Smash online. Anyway, so, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll submit this to speedruns.com. We'll be looking forward to seeing your name and lights at it. Yeah. And for seeing your name as Vice President someday. Vice President 66.